Good morning, guys. So I could not stay up late enough last night to comfortably do the uh, glitter blast on our spray painted tumbler. So I'm going to do it now. I don't know that we'll be able to triple thick this one. We are going to, not triple thick, I'm sorry, um, epoxy this one today, but we're definitely going to epoxy the spray glitter, which is over here. So it's still waiting here um, to get its epoxy coat. And I'm really excited to see how that one's going to turn out. But we are going to glitter blast our spray painted. And I um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this in the video, but there is a run here. Um, I'm not really concerned with it because the glitter is going to hide it. So we're just going to keep going. So it's been, what was it, about 4 o'clock yesterday that I did this on East Coast time. And it's just after 11 now. So it's been more than adequate. It's very dry to the touch. Uh, we're going to do our glitter blast. So I'm going to move the camera for you guys. Okay. So I'm just going to shake it up. And my glitter blast can is getting kind of empty. So hopefully we can get lots of glitter on here without running out. Again, just keep it moving. Okay, so we're going to let it dry for a second. And I don't know how well you can see what this looks like. Not very well. I'll get it up close to the camera in a little bit. And we'll check it out. I don't want glitter all over my phone. As pretty as that would be. So I just want the propellant to have a chance to evaporate for a second before we do another coat. And again, this is the Krylon Glitter Blast Diamond Dust. I'd like to say it's a silver glitter, but it's more than that. It's Depending on the light, it's got a little bit of a pink shimmer and a blue shimmer. It's, it's really pretty. Um, it's not the same glitter look that you get from a loose glitter. Uh, application but it is beautiful it is uh, a little understated the epoxy really makes it pop and shine and I think they look fabulous these are how I first started because I was so terrified of the loose glitter I could only think of doing it with Mod Podge but I didn't want to do it that way so let's add another if this tells you anything, I'm only on my second cup of coffee. I stained some boards last night and they're sitting here. Luckily, it doesn't look like the glitter is getting on them. But let me move those out of the way. As much as I love glitter on everything, I don't want them on that. Looking good. And you can do as many or as few coats as you want. The more coats that you apply, the longer you want to allow it to dry. And it dries fairly quick. Um, but I don't like to rush things. You can get cracking and things like that in your finish. So I'm going to do one more. there's any way I think the light's just too bright for you guys to see the glitter but when it dries I'll, I'll get it up in front of the camera so you can look at it and I'm dropping everything everywhere I'm not good at mornings but uh, one of the questions I've gotten a lot I've gotten a lot of PMs about this one I guess people are being respectful and not wanting to ask it um, in the public in the group in public um, but maybe to answer a question that some of you have and you haven't messaged me and I have explained it in one but I know there's a lot of comments in all the threads so you might have missed it 
but it was what do I charge for these um, tumblers and so if you watched my um, HTV video yesterday you've learned that I used to be a teacher and I uh, taught adult education at a trade school so I covered a lot of different subjects but uh, I'm kind of a math geek so I did I did some math and worked it out for my cost per tumbler to figure my um, cost or my my retail price per tumbler so if you're buying one or two cups at a time um, Walmart is the cheapest if you're not concerned about the brand the Walmart the Walmart tumblers are actually great it's what I use I love them um, and it keeps my coffee hot for long enough for me to finish it without having to to reheat it so the cups are eight or ten dollars depending on if you were getting a 20 ounce or a 30 ounce and this is the 20 and the one I just glittered is a 30 so that cost is is what it is if you're doing it in bulk you can buy um, direct from Arctic at Arctic.com and I think they're anywhere from eight to ten dollars a piece when you buy it that way it's nice they come in a cardboard box that you can then use to put the the tumbler in to give it to your customer or as a gift or however you're doing it but I think the minimum is like 24 or 36 but they have the tumblers they have the koozies they have um, water bottles they've got all sorts of stuff that you can buy and um, they also sell some that are like powder coated but I'm not sure the prices of those so tape the 0.94 inch frog tape comes in a 60 yard roll for about six dollars if you buy it on Amazon so let's say we're using two yards because I'll have to untape it and retape it and two yards is is generous I'm probably not using that much but at 10 cents a yard that's 20 cents worth of tape the steel wool at Home Depot is four dollars for a 12 pack so that's 33 cents per square of steel wool I've been using the same piece for a long time but let's just say you use one piece and you threw it away so that's 33 cents a bottle of alcohol is maybe a dollar at Walgreens or Walmart or Target and I mean it's if you even want to factor it in you could say you're using a penny uh, spray adhesive is about eight dollars for a 13 ounce you can get I haven't done the exact math on how many I'm getting out of a can but if you're really heavy-handed and you're using a ton of it, 10 might be the, the most you're going to get. But I even think that 10 is is an undershot. I think that you could you could probably get 15 or 20. So we're going to go with like 40 or 80 cents per cup, depending on how many coats you're doing, um, how thick of a coat of the spray adhesive you're doing, um, the size of your tumbler. So 40 to 80 cents per per uh, tumbler for that loose glitter. I buy a hundred gram bag for about ten dollars so that's a dollar per um, 10 grams and I probably use 15 to 20 grams per tumbler so that's a dollar fifty to two dollars for glitter if you're using um, craft glitter like what you get at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something like that your cost is going to be less uh, the triple thick um, I did not find, I was just doing this real quick this morning, I did not find a price for the Krylon, but the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick is $4 for a 12 ounce at um, Home Depot, so that's $0.33 cents an ounce. If you're getting, say, 12 tumblers out of that, your, your cost is $0.33. Cents. Epoxy. Um, I've used different ones, but on average I'm paying about a dollar an ounce. So the one that's coming today was like $46 for 48 ounces and I use about half an ounce per tumbler for two coats so I'm getting 96 tumblers out of a 48 ounce um, epoxy kit so it's costing me about 50 cents if you're buying the Illumilite at Hobby Lobby for $20 at cost or at their cost, not using a coupon, $20 for 8 ounces, is, and you're using um, the same amount I am, you're going to you're gonna get 16 tumblers for $20, so it's a little bit more than a dollar. Um, 
So it just depends. I, I buy the epoxy in, in bulk bottles. I try to buy small quantities of new ones to try them out, but if I like it, I'll buy bigger. Um, the Alumalite, even direct from the manufacturer, you could only buy it as a 20, as an eight ounce kit or a, I think it's a two gallon kit. It's like $118 or something like that, but you could do tumblers for, for a long time with that. Um, foam brushes. I use the one inch foam brush. Um, like this. I use two of them. I get them at, I actually think these are from Harbor Freight, but I also have ones from Hobby Lobby. You get 50 of them for $6. If you use your coupon, it's three sixty dollars for 50 of them. So they're costing you eight cents a piece. And I use two of them. They're 16 cents. You have to throw these away. There's no point in trying to clean and reuse a sponge brush for anything. Um, I've tried to do it when I've been almost out and I didn't want to run to the store. It, it wasn't pretty at all. So, 16 cents for uh, two, foam, two foam brushes. Plastic cups. I didn't look up a price, but let's just say they're expensive. And I paid $2.50 for 25 of them. And they're 10 cents a cup, and I used two cups. So, that's 20 cents. And then I stir with popsicle sticks. It's like four dollars for a thousand of these at Hobby Lobby and if you use your coupon you're paying two dollars and forty cents for a thousand so I didn't even factor it in but it at these prices it's gonna cost you around thirteen dollars and seven cents as a cost for the tumbler then if you add the vinyl so if you're using 651 um, if you buy 651 and again I'm going with the prices that I pay um, and I buy a lot of things in bulk so if you buy a 12 inch by 10 yard roll of the Oracle 651 it's $13.29 so that is 4,320 square inches it costs you three tenths of a penny per square inch so a six by six decal is going to cost you 11 cents Six by six decal costs eleven cents, and we charge a customer six dollars for that, uh, roughly. So it's a it's a nice little markup. RT sixty five tape, which is probably my favorite clear transfer tape. Um, I want to try the Oracle transfer tape, the new one that they have, but I haven't got gotten my hands on it yet. You can only get it from Swing Design, as far as I know, and I just haven't bit the bullet and ordered it. Um, but the RT sixty five by twelve inch by a hundred yard roll for $44.55, so that also comes out to three-tenths of a penny. And if you use a six-by-six six piece of that, it's also 11 cents. So 22 cents for the vinyl and the the app tape to apply the vinyl brings you up to $13.29. I charge a minimum of 35 for my 20-ounce tumblers, and I charge a minimum of 45 for my 30-ounce tumblers. So there's a nice little markup on that. Um, it gives me some wiggle room as far as number of colors of vinyl. Again, it's 11 cents for a six by six inch piece of vinyl at my cost. So, um, you know, if you want to charge extra for multiple colors, go for it. Um, if you don't, I don't think it's going to hurt your bottom line. It, uh, you have to be careful about setting precedents when you price things. So for, you know, like a t-shirt, I typically will start at $20, even if maybe my markup and, and the formulas that I use, it, it would be a $12 shirt. Because if I make a, a shirt with a little monogram on the pocket area and I charge them $12 for it, when they come back and they want a shirt with something big on it, and I say, well, that's going to be $22, they are going to think I'm jacking my prices up. So you have to be careful about setting precedence with your pricing. And uh, if you guys are interested, and let me know in the comments, but if you're interested, we can, um, we can sit down. I can do a video on my pricing structure and how I price things and when it's a good idea to buy in bulk and when it's not. And uh, kind of go over all of that. We can, we can definitely do that if it's something you're interested in. But 
I'll make videos all day. I used to teach. I didn't realize how much I missed it until I started doing this. Uh, but I don't want to make a video and post a video that y'all don't want to watch. So let me know. And I try to get the important stuff away in the beginning and then chit chat at the end so you can turn me off. But uh, let me know what you want. And uh, I know uh, the glitter tump, the glitter wine glasses are coming. I've got to go get some more. Um, I'll probably do those next week. Uh, the weekends are typically family time, but we're going to be doing the process of the epoxy. It's not just a quick video of application. We've got to talk about turning if you don't have a rotisserie or some other kind of, of motor and um, what to do if you get bubbles or what to do if you get a fingerprint or what to do if it's still tacky. So we've got a lot of things to cover. So there's going to be some videos um, along the process and applying the decal and the second coat of epoxy and all that. So that's going to keep us busy uh, this weekend. I do add a link to all the videos in the caption to each video so you can easily jump back and forth between them. Um, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, again, all the videos are just for this group. I'm not doing this on YouTube. I'm not doing this on my own page. I don't I don't have a, a blog or anything like that. Um, you guys are my family. I feel by now, you know, we're, we're best buds now. So this guy's just for you guys. Um, but we'll be back later today when the epoxy comes. UPS sent me an email saying that I had a package on the way. Uh, he probably knows how much I want it here, so he's going to wait until the end of his route. But uh, we'll see what happens, and I will keep you guys posted. So thank you very much, and TGIF, and I'll talk to you guys later.